Hello filmmakers and welcome to my channel. In this video, we're exploring the magic of anamorphic lenses and their role in creating that iconic cinematic look and how you can create that look inside Premiere Pro. But first, let's understand what anamorphic lenses are. Anamorphic lenses are a unique type of lens that compress the image horizontally. This allows filmmakers to capture a wider field of view. When the footage is projected or de-squeezed during post-production, it creates the distinctive widescreen aspect ratio that we associate with that classic cinematic look. So why are anamorphic lenses used so much in our favourite Hollywood films? It's all about, again, the cinematic look. The lens flares, the oval-shaped bokeh, the shallow depth of field. These characteristics contribute to the dreamy, larger-than-life feel we often associate with big screen blockbusters. One of the most iconic features of the anamorphic look is the lens flare. The horizontal lens components in anamorphic lenses causes light to streak across the frame, creating those signature light streaks that add a certain flair to the visuals. Anamorphic lenses also produce oval-shaped bokeh. This unique bokeh shape is a distinctive look to the visuals. Additionally, they offer a more shallower depth of field than spherical lenses, allowing filmmakers to isolate subjects and create a more visually compelling composition. Beyond the visual aesthetics, these lenses provide filmmakers with wider aspect ratios, like 2, 3, 9 to 1, or even wider. This larger canvas allows for more creative framing and storytelling possibilities. The wider frame is particularly effective for capturing breathtaking landscapes and epic scenes that demand a grand cinematic scale. While anamorphic lenses offer an unparalleled visual benefit, they also come with challenges. Filmmakers need to consider factors like increased weight, the need for specialized equipment, and a learning curve in terms of framing and focusing your shot. And of course, the hefty price that these lenses cost. However, many cinematographers or filmmakers argue that the unique qualities of anamorphic footage outweigh these challenges. In this video, I'm gonna show you how you can achieve the anamorphic look inside Adobe Premiere Pro. So let's jump right into the tutorial. So the first thing we're gonna do is change the aspect ratio. So go to sequence settings, and if you're working with HD footage, change your aspect ratio to 1920 by 817. And if you're working with 4K footage, you wanna set it to 3840 by 1634. And if you wanna know how I calculate it, just divide the pixel width by the aspect ratio. So for 235 aspect ratio, dealing with HD footage, all I'll do is take the 1920, which is the pixel width, and divide it by 235, which equals 817. Let's create an adjustment layer by clicking on the button and selecting adjustment layer. Place it above the clip in the timeline and stretch it out to match the length of the clip. Next, we will add three effects. Lens distortion, VR chromatic aberration, and my favorite, the transform effect. Drag them all into the effects control panel, making sure the adjustment layer is highlighted. In lens distortion, set the curvature to nine and the vertical decentering to one. Then on the transform effect, set the scale to 110 and lastly, come over to the VR Chromatic Aberration and set the red to minus one, the green to zero, and the blue to plus one. Add a Lumetri color effect or open up the Lumetri color. Come down to the vignette, increase the amount to minus one, then slap on a free lens flare from Premium Beam. Now for the lens flares, drag your lens flare on the video layer above the, adjust the adjustment layer. So it's resting on the top of the bottom layers. Come over to the effects control panel and change the blend mode to screen. And there we have it, true authentic cinemascope, or very close to it, well kind of, but we're getting there, it's close enough. Okay, yeah, goodbye.